Alright, so now that you've got the main part of the rocket launcher done, you need to wire up the pistol grip. I will take off the pistol grip and I will show you how to wire it step by step. Alright, so here are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a soldering iron or a soldering gun, um, some solder, you're going to want a wire stripper. I like to use this because it makes it easier to remove and attach the pistol grip. You're also going to want doorbell wire and I use speaker wire, you can use other kinds of wire. And then you're going to want a 9 volt snap connector. A couple alligator clips, some heat shrink tubing, this is eighth of an inch, a lighter for the heat shrink tubing unless you have like a, a heat kind of gun or something like that, and then of course your pistol grip. I am using a toggle switch for the safety, and a doorbell for the uh, main trigger. but. If you have some other kind of buttons or switches, you can use those as well. It really doesn't matter. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so the first order of business, I think, on this is to wire up the uh, trigger, the doorbell. So I'm going to remove that. So it opens up this hole, um, and that leads up into this hole up here. We will wire this doorbell and just stick the wires up there so they're sticking out about a couple inches or so. So we'll get our doorbell wire and we'll stick it down in the hole so we kind of know how much we want to use. And pull out about this, this much, about an uh, inch and a half. And I'll cut it up here, a couple inches or so, doesn't have to be exact because you, you can mess with this later once you wire it. So now that we have the amount of wire, I'm going to strip both ends and make a loop so it can attach to the doorbell. Alright, so I have my loop and now I'll be able to just stick both of these wires on there and I will be able to tighten these screws down on top of the wire. So I'll do that quick. All right, so I got these two wires connected to the doorbell trigger, and now we just have to send them both up through the pistol grip. And we'll go about like that, and there we go. Push this down. You can reconnect the doorbell. Okay, so now that these are poking out of there, I'm going to cut them at about an inch above the top of the pistol grip, and I will then strip them so I can connect the 9 volt battery snap connector and the wire that will lead to the back of the rocket launcher for igniting the igniter. So, and I'm going to remove the safety toggle switch for now, just get it out of the way, and it'll also be easier to wire it to when it's out. For this next step, I think I'm going to connect the snap connector to the safety. First, you're going to want to figure out how long your wire needs to be. So, I usually kind of put it here because this is where the battery will be. And then your wires will go up through here and underneath the uh, barrel of the launcher. So I can hold it, hold the wire about here, and I think I'll cut about oh, an inch off, and then I will connect it to the safety. So all I have to do is loosen this screw. It's basically the same thing that I did with the doorbell, and I'll take the red wire, I don't think it really matters because I've done this three different ways and it has worked each way. Um, so you can do this however you want. 
and most likely it'll work. But you just attach the snap connector and tighten the screw down on top of that wire. So it looks like that and you'll have your snap connector coming off. And then to this side you'll be connecting the wire that goes to the rear of the rocket launcher. Okay, so I changed my mind. Um, I'm going to take about, let's see, in comparison to the pistol grip, I got about a piece of a, a speaker wire that is sticking out about three, three or four inches or so. Um, and I'm going to peel it apart I will attach this wire to the other side, other terminal of the safety, and then I, it will simply just stick out the back of the pistol grip. So, same thing as before, loosen the screw a bit, and just tighten the screw on top of the wire. So now your safety will look something like this, it will have one uh, wire from the 9 volt battery snap connector um, and the other side will be a piece of wire that will go to the back of the pistol grip and now you can stick this through the hole and you're done with this part okay so I just reinserted the safety I have the on facing forward so when I go to fire I just push it forward and then I'll be able to shoot and then once I'm done shooting, just turn off the safety. I think the next step will be to connect the other um, wire of the snap connector to uh, one of the wires from the doorbell, the trigger. So determine how much you need, snip off if you need to, and uh, connect those. I'll be soldering these together. There's my soldering connection, and now I will uh, get this heat shrink tubing on and heat that up. Our snap connector is pretty much complete now. I can push those wires down and out of the way, and the next thing to solder is going to be the second uh, wire that will be going to the rear of the rocket launcher so I will take this one and connect it to the second wire from the doorbell <clears throat> now we can heat up the shrinking tube stuff my awesome crazy lighter. That is basically your pistol grip. Now we have to solder these two wires to some longer wires that will be going all the way to the back of the launcher. So let's do that quick. Here's the wire I'm going to use to go to the back of the la rocket launcher. For this end, I'm going to twist the wires from the pistol grip onto these and then put heat shrink tubing on them. And then the other side, we will put some uh, alligator clips. And then we will be able to feed it to the back of the rocket launcher. Okay, so I'm just gonna twist these on here. Like so. Place the second one on. And the reason I'm not just using one continuous uh, strand of wire is because I, if I ever want to remove the pistol grip without having to uh, take off the PVC kind of heat shroud for the rocket launcher, I can just take the heat shrink tubing off of this and take the, the pistol grip off. Now that we have those twisted together, I'm going to just bend it and put the heat shrink tubing over it. 
Eat him up. So that's basically it. Now on the other side of this wire, we have to connect our alligator clips. I'm going to twist these wires. And I think I'll cut three quarter inch or so pieces of this. There's a little hole in the bottom, so I will stick the wire into it from the top of the alligator clip. And then I'm going to push down the little ears on top of the wire with the um, insulation part on it. Okay, so now that I have both of them connected, I'm going to just try to drop a little bit of a solder down in there to keep the wires in there nice and connected and such all right now i just need to heat up the heat shrink tubing One done! I would probably suggest a slightly larger size of heat shrink tubing. This is a little tight, but I think it's going to work. That is the complete wiring for the pistol grip and rocket launcher. Now I just need to put everything together. Okay, so for this final part of assembly of the rocket launcher, you are going to want that drill you're going to want your pistol grip and wires, you're going to want the barrel, and you're going to want the PVC heat shroud. You will also want the hose clamps to hold the pistol grip, and <clears throat> the two uh, other hose clamps to keep the heat shroud in place. And as you can see, I have um, one already attached. That one I always keep on because... Uh, you never really need to take it off. So that's the rear of the rocket launcher. But really, in pieces, this is all it is. Right there. Let's start with the heat shroud and the pistol grip. The first thing you have to do is identify which um, side is for the rear. This, for me, is the rear because I have this hole here. Um, and that is going to be where you put the alligator clips through. So, <clears throat> to do this, I start from the front. I grab my wires and I just drop them down in there. And then you have to figure out how to get them through that hole. So, uh, that's going to be a bit of a tricky part. So, I'll do that off camera and show you it when I'm done. Okay, so I successfully got these through the hole. Um, from this point on, you can put your barrel through the seat shroud and um, put the clamp on to uh, keep it from sliding off on this side. So, I'll do that. Alright, and then there is, uh, let's see if I can get it in here. There's the hole that you made for the wire so it didn't get uh, stuck up in between the this hole and the barrel. So get it in that hole and slide the barrel on through. Slide this until your notch locks up and then holding it there. You want to grab your other uh, hose clamp. Your heat shroud is locked. It's not turning. Uh, hopefully not too much at least. You have your wire in here. That means you are set to put your hose clamp on. 
So just slide it on down, lock it in, and hold it down so nothing moves, and tighten it. You now have your pistol grip loose, you have your PVC shroud on, and you have your alligator clip sticking out the back. What I'm going to do is get one of your bigger hose clamps for the pistol grip, put it on here, and at this point I'm going to grab a 9 volt battery. Got this one, and now I'm going to make sure all my wires are pushed down so they aren't sticking out. Like so. Having these coming out the back. And I'm going to stuff my wire up into the PVC shroud. I have my 9 volt battery snap connector sticking out of its little hole here. I have all the wires stuck up beneath the barrel and inside the pistol grip. Um, I lined up this hole so that your pistol grip will be kind of like on the bottom of this so that this is on the top. And now I just need to tighten the pistol grip right now and get it where I want it so I can put my final hose clamp on here and it'll be done. So I'll finish that quick. Okay, and she is done. All right guys, so I hope you liked my video. Uh, this is my finished product. I just wanted a completely gold one. I thought it'd be cool. I thought I'd test it out for you here. Turn off this light. Okay, so the safety is on right now. Pushing the trigger, nothing's happening. So the safety feature works. Now, as soon as I flip this, it should turn on. And there it is. So. You can see that it works right now. I don't have any rockets for this rocket launcher, this style of rocket launcher at least. Um, I have tested some rockets, but they kind of blew apart. Um, so I will be working on rockets for it. I will probably come up with a video showing how I made the rockets as well. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching.